Yeah, I never thought he had a, t a chance in Texas. Well, yeah, you're but smart. I understand why the Democrats say that, and they put a lot of money yeah. on it, and he's kind of been like, you know, the great hope for a really long time since, like, the Obama years. But I'm not seeing it. Uh, and obviously, Governor Abbott is going to oh. get uh, another turn at the helm. Ooh, the panel has something Sorry. to talk about. <laughs> It's nothing like a, a quick exhortation to bring yeah, no, you. I, I, was, I was about to hear uh, the superstar loser uh, monicum given to Beto by somebody on that panel. I don't yeah, know who's it going to be. That's true. I, I did. You're yeah. right, Leland. I put him as my big loser tonight. And I actually. Why is he a big I loser know, when he was I never expected to win? I know his campaign manager. Well, no, I think that he has been the hope of some of my colleagues from the Beto? Obama administration. Oh, yeah. A lot of my male colleagues from the Obama administration rallied around him very Look at Ortega's early. face. <laughs> That and, was as and, polite and as she could problem. muster. I thought he had a character problem. So he, yes, he, has, been, about he character. has been, he, he has be. been very, um, he has been honest that he has a DUI, but there's questions about the DUI that did he run away from it? There's um, also issues with You think what that Beto he... is a DUI away from beating Governor Abbott? <laughs> no. You think that was the difference? I you think, think I, it had not no, been for a I collegiate DUI? Character yes. actually matters. And the other thing is we should remember that when, when, the, after the Uvalde shooting, mm -hmm. he went at Governor Abbott on stage. And I think that that was a very poor choice. So I think there's, you know, there's something that you have to, if you actually care about the people you're representing, you don't take those opportunities to peacock. And again, I respect his team. I think Nick is amazing. I think that he has shown that he is too much of a peacock for the people of Texas. And he, we, he has now run three times. And Morgan and I were talking about this. After the third time, a woman yeah. would go home and, you know, yeah. reevaluate. Beta, <laughs> I always like when my better. entire gender is condemned for the actions yeah. of one individual. Yeah, exactly. you know what, I, this is what We're I've all better at the end of the day. Better better. The generalization. Just, <laughs> I've, after he lost the presidential primary, he went on the road, reportedly, for mm -hmm. six weeks to drive and find himself. He has two small children at home. And I'm sorry, but like, as moms, we don't get to go drive around for six no. weeks and find ourselves. No. He just <laughs> annoys me. I think you guys can do a lot better. Or if he's the best you can do, it's going to be it's not. a great night for me. Um, there's all, Listen, but there's some key... We talked a lot tonight about um, how much the Republican Party has done on recruitment, especially in the House. Kevin McCarthy's done a great job. Uh, but there's some really exciting things in the Senate. Two of my friends and former colleagues and women my age um, are in statewide roles. So Katie Britt um, just won Alabama. Um, she's 40-year-old mom. She's going to be... Um, uh, you know, one of the youngest, probably the youngest woman in the Senate, actually, and Sarah Sanders. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.